Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Souls. You all thought I went missing or whatever the fuck, or whatever, whatever went through your minds over the past week. But actually, to explain what happened, well first off, it's been quite a while since I last played. It's also been a very long week, as there are a lot of things to do, and over, over my time of like being off screen and such, um, I did some, I did like some farming, but really, I didn't know... I didn't know beforehand that I can't teleport out of this map because it's not linked to other bonfires. This is like in its own world right now. This is how like you kind of get trapped in here. So what I did was just like, you know, go through the area, clear clear as many people out as I can. And um, uh, other things. But eventually like I got nearly everything open. I have to like find a contraption to open this one door that will lead to the exit. Oh, what the hell? But, um, honestly, you guys really didn't miss anything. Honestly, the only thing I did was open this door that's right there, where those stairs are. I literally opened the door over there. That's all you missed. And I don't remember how to get there, unless it's just literally right around the corner. Nope, apparently there's a path. Oh, hello. But, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you what I did, because it, it would just take up a lot of time. So instead, we're gonna we're gonna start where I left off and just get out of this area because there's not all too much left in this area. But um, I just want to get out of here just to get out of here. Like there is an optional boss fight you can do. Like you don't really have to fight them, fight them. But most people are, most people would just be like, oh big big boss. Plus I got my ass kicked in this area. I'm gonna kick this person's ass. But one thing is for sure, I need, um, fuck, I need to find more Firekeeper souls to increase, to like level up my Estus so that way I can heal more. Because right now at 2, like what, I can heal half my health? If I had like, I think the highest I can go was 7 or 10? Honestly, can't remember. But it would, it would be, it'd be pretty handy if I could heal more per Estus. Because I want to end up using like... 5s is just to heal heal myself, and I should be invaded here at some point, because this is an invasion area for an NPC, and I do remember some some areas NPCs will invade you in, and this is one of them. And a lot of you might know him. I personally don't. I don't know the lore behind this guy, but he just has a funny he has a funny looking head. There we go, King Jeremiah. Nothing more, nothing less, and he looks like a giant popsicle. Or a sucker. No. I'm just gonna kill you all. What'd I pick up? Notched whip. Alright. Okay. Well, he had quite a bit of soul, so I can level up. So, who's up? But yeah, there's. that's what I wanted to show you, because I just avoided this area for that for that main reason and there's a little underground path i have to take to unlock more stuff in this area but to recap on what's been happening this whole week and why i haven't been able to upload because i'm pretty sure some of you have been curious um school has been pretty busy lately and i had a lot of due dates on projects i needed to finish up and um throughout the whole week it's just been me um doing doing the work honestly like, it's just been me um, grinding and um, just trying to get everything done in time and making sure everything looks good. So far, I had to... Those are rolling skeletons. I had to... Uh, I had to write a paper about... Um, it, it was basically an essay on anything... It was on an essay on anything I wanted to be. But the, the topic I chose was just explaining this, this really bad camping experience I once had. And that turned out to be like 11 pages everyone else I don't know how many pages they made but like from what someone else told me the amount of pages I made was way over what anyone else made because someone in class told me like oh yeah I made mine three pages long and I thought that was too long and I was like I made mine 11 and they just like stared at me like what the fuck it's all for brave Lord. at this part um, 
There are a lot of false walls here because you need to find this lever that will open up something. But along the way, you will... These um, rolling skeletons will be everywhere. I got the annex key. I don't remember where that... I don't remember what that's for. But here's another false wall. Okay, that's where I came. Um, is there nothing else? I think there's like just a ladder. Wow, I'm surprised I missed. There we go. This guy okay? Oh, jeez. Well, he dropped something. Let's see what it is. Oh. Okay. So, he was here for a reason, to say the least. But to recap, yeah, that's where... Um, that's been my whole week, just getting projects done and um, meeting deadlines and such. So, whenever those times happen, I won't be uploading because I can't waste my time. Like, it's not not wasting my time, but I just I just can't like I gotta use all the time I have to work on my work on my on my school stuff, because that's school, you know, that's more important than my YouTube career. Like, you know, I'm not YouTube isn't like my job or anything, it's just like a hobby. But it's something I don't it's something like that I want that I wanna continue to do. But school is more important because it's school. You know. I could fail a class if I just brush it aside and decide to do YouTube over school. And however way you see it, I just don't want to fail a class because I'm taking four classes and it's not, they're not all too much, but like with my, with how I am, you know, I just don't want to lose anything. I feel like I didn't explain that too well. Anyway, hey, there's a path. So yeah, that's been my whole week. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to upload, but like I said, I've just been busy. But today, I get to finally do some recording, and tomorrow I'll do a little more recording. I'll get back to Slime Rancher, because it has been quite a while since I've played that. I'm also going to try to do some writing afterwards, afterwards of this recording, because I am so close to finishing up my story. But school has just been getting in the way, and I haven't been able to write for the longest time, and you know, it's just, you just want to get stuff done. Also, I gotta like, um, I met up with another writer at school who was writing this story. I, I can't remember all too well what he said, but I think he gave me his zombie story. And, like, he just gave me chapter one of it. Oh, got humanity. And it sounded pretty interesting because, um, beforehand I had no idea he was a writer, but he just randomly spoke up in class and just said, like, oh, yeah, I write stories. And so I was like, after class, I was like, hey, what do you write? And... We chatted for a bit, and I told he told me about like what his story is about, what happens and such, and I talked about mine, like a little bit of it, but not too much. Fuck you. Also, if you're wondering what's up with these things, I don't know what exactly they're called, but like whenever you kill them, they spew blood, and what what happens is if that blood touches you, you um you basically become toxic, and that's not a good time. Hold on. There was a way to that thing. And I believe it was around. Up and around town. But um I also played throughout my off time I've also I also played a little bit of Dark Souls 2 and My god, that game is really buggy. And I know I know what a lot of people say about Dark Souls 2, it's like not the greatest game or it's the worst, but funny enough it's actually my favorite. Just because, like, I spent I've spent more time on that game than all all the other Dark Souls games. Like, no joke. Dried finger. Uh, what does that do? Dried finger with multiple knuckles. Shovel, but still slightly worn with many with this many knuckles. Surely it cannot belong to any anything human. I think this serves the same purpose as it did in Dark Souls Three, where. You can use it to summon more phantoms to help you. I'm honestly not too sure. But, um, back to Dark Souls 2. Um, I have it on the 360, so don't expect me to, I'd like, start doing videos on that. I would have done videos on that way, 
way before like I ever did Dark Souls 3 but I don't have a capture card that's compatible with my 360. The capture card I have is an Elgato HD 60. Yeah. There there might be a little more than that name, but um the thing is it only it can only connect to HDMI cables. So the problem is my 360 it's not the newer ones, it's those really old ones whenever they came out like in what 2005. Ooh, that was close. I need a heal. And, um. Yep, I should have seen that coming. Uh, do I have any blooming stuff? I should have some. Uh, no, I think I wasted it. So let's try using this. Nope. This is actually worse. <laughs> yeah, let's free that guy so that way I can get his stuff. And apparently I think I'm in Dark Souls 2. I'm in New Game Plus 3. And what I originally wanted to do was start the game off in a new game. Instead of just like in the beginning where, you know, you'd have to see me just um, constantly farm and just build my way up. Instead of that, I... I, I'm deciding to, um, like, not start a new game, but play all, play in one of my old save files, which is the one that's a new game plus three. I'm about to finish it, honestly, because it's going to be a while until I get a new capture card, because I don't want to waste all too much money. Like, I can buy it, but I'm trying to save up money. You know, simple as that. But that's going to kill me if I fall down. This fucking toxic stuff is pain. Whoa! Whoa! Uh... Hello. Fucker. Okay, he just fell through the floor. So yeah, I, I am currently in New Game Plus 3 and Dark Souls 2. I also have all the DLC in it, and I'm currently in Frozen Elum, Lo Elum Lois. And it is by far the biggest pain possible because... I'm trying to fight the, the, whatever that, whatever that guy is, whenever, wherever you have to plunge into the bed of chaos with your four buds that you find randomly throughout the map. Like, I'm in that part where you have to plunge down and just try to fight them all off until, like, the Elum, Elum Lois King comes by. I've already defeated the Fume Knight, but... Funny enough, I had an easier time killing the blue smelter demon than I had a than killing off the red smelter demon. It's we oh god, I almost fell. It's weird. Like maybe I just reckon remember their um, patterns a bit better, but I honestly I honestly did the smelter demon in like two tries. When the first time I ever did it, I it took me a very long time just to say it's just to put it simply. And I mean a very long time. What the fuck? Oh yeah, harpies. Hit it. Oh, you're actually pretty strong. Locked by some contraption. Of course. Alrighty, so now that we cleared off most of this area, and I actually, um... <laughs> I actually showed you what I completely did because there were some items I missed, but I didn't intentionally want to like go all, all around this map, but things happen. So for now, I'm going to stow away my humanities because those are precious. And break down some souls and do some leveling up. And probably in the next video, we'll be out of here. Oh? What's this? See quality. Eh. Nah. I'm not looking to um, have people invade me. But anyway, let's get that out of our way. Like I, I, I would do some. I would let some invaders invade me in this game, but I probably wouldn't do as good as I would in Dark Souls 3. And what I'm starting to see is, um, it's easier to invade than to just like summon invaders into your world because whenever you invade. Depending on who's with you, most of the time it's just gankers, and honestly, it's kind of fun fighting gankers. It's weird. Like, at first, I was kind of against it, because I was just like, oh, great, a fucking gank squad. Let's have fun with this, because, like, by the end of it, everyone shits on you. 
And he was like, oh yeah, you can even beat us, you fucking suck and all this stuff. But like, I, I'm generally having, having a lot of fun fighting gankers. It's weird. Um, let's repair my stuff. Oh, I gotta s Oof. Had the bird, but I held it in. <laughs> oh, fuck. <sighs> Alright, what do we want to level up? What was the last thing we wanted to level up, honestly? Uh... We'll level up some health and some dex. And I think I'll leave my resistance where it is right now because I have some pretty high defense overall. So this seems pretty good, but uh, I believe endurance, yes, that increases my equipment load. So by the end of this, we're looking to have 40, 40, 40, 40 on these three. And we'll just leave, I think I'll just put resistance at 30 and leave it at that. But anyway, let's head back over here. Yeah, you can see I'm doing a lot more damage now. And I have a little more help, so that's a help. So that's a neat, neat thing. Also, the, the thing that these guys are doing to remind me of... Um, if you ever watched the movie 300 where the Spartans all, like, form a, form a uh, turtle shield, that's what, that reminds me of what these guys are doing. The porcupine thing. Where, like, they have their shields all out, but they're... Um, spears are sticking out too and it looked really interesting and this is like what these guys were doing like all surrounding this with their shields and spears up that's where that kind of reminded me of 300 and i don't know if 300 your favorite movie or not but if it is well hey i like it it's a really it's a pretty good movie and um it's just something like you can just sit down and watch with people and just be like wow <laughs> But now that, yeah, running out of things to say. <laughs> I have to poop. That's one thing. <laughs> A little gross, but whatever. Yeah. Well, in the next video, I'll talk about my, um, what, what went on in health today. Because it was pretty funny. But, hmm. Okay. Uh... Honestly, I don't remember where this contraption is. Oh, damn, there's a lot of birds. Oh my god, there's a lot of birds. Holy hell, how did I survive? Mirko, Val of Silence. Huh. Uh, trying to guess what that does, but it probably just makes my, my um, walking silent. Not your, oh. <coughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, and over here there was like a drag there was like a dead dragon over here. Like an undead dragon. And I killed it because why not? <laughs> oh yeah, and I also got like a new shield from that guy. Well not not like from that guy, but there was a shield right in front of him that apparently he was guarding. So I killed him, took the shield, and fun fact that I'll talk about in the next video. But say, Velka's rapier. Huh. Alrighty, let's see what's over here. Oh, what the hell? Ah, damn it! Toxic again. Well, off camera, I'll um, rest at the bonfire, then come back to the entrance. Actually, I don't need to roll anymore because um, I'm already toxic, so it's not going to hurt me anymore. It'd be cool if you can stack on toxic, though. Anyway, we've got a dark ember that will allow us to put some dark on our weapons now. So we can inflict dark damage. Which I think is called a cult, actually. Honestly, I can't remember. Dark, the things are so different in Dark Souls than like in, in any other Dark Souls games. 
I would really love to play Demon Souls though. Like Demon Souls has that type of nostalgia that like old games can have, and it's the it's all it's before like all the Dark Souls games took place, all before Bloodborne and all that, and it honestly just like looks like a lot of fun to play because it was it's an old title, but it's one of those titles that like I said has nostalgia. And whenever I see it, I'm just like it. It looked so creative back then, where now, like, video games are mostly fleshed out. Like, back then, every idea was new, and, like, people were just like, Oh, I've never seen this before, but now, hello. But now, like, um, you play, you can play any game now and just be like, Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen similar mechanics to this, like, in Call of Duty. Like, any first-person shooter, people can just be like, Oh, yeah, some parts are, like, Call of Duty and all that. Like, it's a thing. And I'll explain some of that in the, in the next video. Hopefully, if I remember. But for now, that's gonna be all for now, everyone. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, grow. And in the next video, we're gonna we're gonna keep exploring this area and try to find a contraption because I couldn't find it. So I also talk about what happened in health class, and hopefully, I'll talk about um, my opinion on like fleshed out games. But until then, I will see you all.